first, I'll answer the first question you probably have. It's nice that Ron is here. Where is Mr. Cherry? Uh, Don is rolling in tonight, uh, but we usually don't bring Don to the school visits because he would tell you this spiritual, motivational, kind of a silly story about how when he was a little boy, his dad used to walk five miles to school with him and back every day. And of course he had to, they were in the same class. So I thought I'd say the story about Don and his dad. It's a real treat to be at Beaver Bray. Uh, Mike Richards School, right? This is where a guy that won the Memorial Calder Stanley Cup, Will Junior, just had the thrill of uh, going to the Evergreen Community Center, to the outdoor rink there where Mike took his first strides, and uh, it's just been a magical visit already. Uh, Dave Tresser mentioned I met Giselle at Tags yesterday, the sporting goods store, and I've had the chance to mingle with so many of the people that are uh, really the backbone of minor hockey here in Kenora. I'll tell you just one story before I introduce uh, Mr. McDonald, Cassie Campbell-Pascal, and uh, Rick St. Cross here as well. You know, if I think for, for you about your future and what it is that'll make life tick for you, I, I'd say kindness is far and away the most important quality. You're going to need courage, you're going to need conviction, but I'll tell you my favorite story in all the Stanley Cups I've covered, which is over 30, I've done 11 Olympic Games as a host. Uh, I'm not, not bragging, that's just my job, right? But the one Olympic story that I think is the greatest story of all comes from the 1976 Olympic Games in Montreal. We've now had the Olympics in Calgary and in Vancouver. Uh, this is a big year for Canada. It's the 150th anniversary of our nation. We'll have a nice little affirmation ceremony here in a bit. It's the 100th anniversary of the NHL, and let's not kid ourselves, it's our game. It's the one we've shown the world, hockey, so we're very proud of that. But in 1976, at the Olympics in Montreal, like Tommy Phillips, right, who won the uh, 1907 Stanley Cup with the Thistles, he was Cy Griffiths, these guys were all great paddlers, they were oarsmen. They could do both canoe and they could do rowing. Well, at the canoe, at 76 in Montreal, we had a Canadian named John Wood. And John was competing in an event called C1-500, that's 500 meters for canoe, solo. And as he was getting ready for the race, he noticed that one of his arch rivals, the Russian, was having trouble. He was trying to get something off of his hands. And John knew what it was right away. The committee boat, the camera boat, one of the boats that was taking care of the race must have had some motor oil get into the water, and that oil had gotten on the hands of the Russian. And it, with that spandex uniform that you wear, it's impossible to get it off. So John Wood always kept a little towel under his seat with some sandpaper sewn into the towel. They kept it kind of moist. And he handed that towel to Alexander Rogain. Rogoff was, Rogain, there's a Friday. Rogoff was the uh, Russian uh, competitor. And Alexander used the towel to get his hands clear. And then he went on to win the race with the Russian by 34 one hundredths of a second over John Wood, which is really unbelievable. But that kindness that John Wood showed that day, that sportsmanship, began something very special. John came back to Oakville, Ontario and became a coach. And he taught a guy named Larry Kane, who would win the gold medal in canoe at the Los Angeles Olympics. And then Larry Kane taught a guy named Adam Vancouverton, who would win the gold medal, albeit in kayak, at the Athens Olympics in 2004. And then Adam Vancouverton taught a guy named Mark Oldershaw, who would reach the podium at the London Olympics in 2012. So that kind guy, John Wood, was the beginning of four generations of Olympic podium finishes for us in canoe, and I really believe in that. Pay it forward. Show yourself uh, to be a good sport, and it's amazing the impact, the trickle-down effect it'll have uh, throughout the years. So that's my, my little message to you. <laughs>